Hi folks, Lee here and welcome back to the channel. So, got something a little bit different again for this video. Um, and it's something I want to start doing, well, it's a game that I want to start playing a lot more. Um, so I've got World of Tanks here, it's one of those games that I played quite a lot back in the day with my mate Alan. Um, and as you can imagine, it's a game about tank combat. Um, and it's ranges for like World War II, sort of maybe just pre-World War II up until like sort of Cold War era stuff if you know what I mean. Um, and it's one of those games I played a lot back in the day in the PC um, but obviously I'm playing it in the Xbox One just now. Um, but we're just gonna give it a go. Um, so obviously we're at quite a low tier at the moment so a lot of the stuff we've got here it's just the kind of basic stuff you would sort of like start off with. Um, and as you can see here, it's got a World War II tier, but it's also got another thing beside it, which I'm going to assume they're going to launch a kind of more modern range of tanks at some point that you can unlock. Um, so here we've got the tech trees. As you can see, you've got a lot of different countries. Um, and you could pick from, you know, US, British, Russian, you know, all of that stuff. Um and we're going to jump into our game, we're going to jump in on the cruiser because the first tank that I would really like to unlock and sort of get full tier on, although I mean who knows I'll probably never do this, but I would love to get like the Cromwell and then work my way up to the Centurion. I think that would be quite cool. Um, so we're going to give the cruiser a go and jump into a game with that. So first thing to know about this game, I'm genuinely terrible at this game and I always have been. Um, I'm, I don't mean terrible as in, you know, when I say in Call of Duty I'm terrible but I'm actually okay at that game. I mean in this game, I'm genuinely just awful at this game. It's one of those games, it requires a big sort of time commitment if you know what I mean. And You know, you need to have a lot of knowledge of the different types of tanks and the different armour and the different weak spots that you need to target and you know there's armour thicknesses and you know some guns can get through some armour but not others if you know what I mean um, there's a lot of it's a lot more involved and a lot more sort of simulation like than a game like Call of Duty if you know what I mean um, obviously it's around tanks and that but it is quite involved, you know, and to really get good at the game you really need to sort of like play it a lot and get to know all of the different tanks that you're going to be up against. Um, so we're in this map here, Himmelsdorf, and as you can see it's basically like a kind of city town map, um, everything's a bit kind of destroyed. There's a big bit, there's a big kind of central sort of plaza section in this map. But we are playing as a light tank just now, so we don't really want to be rushing into the middle or getting involved with like the main big battle, if you know what I mean. So, as a light tank, what you really want to be doing is like scouting, and you know, if you get an opportunity to shoot something and you think you can, you know, do some damage, that's always great. But the main purpose of a scout tank is really going to be to sort of recon, if you know what I mean, like, you know, run around, spot enemies for the rest of your team and your artillery, which you get in this game as well. Um, so that's the main purpose of a light tank. Then you've got, so, the light tanks in the game just now, if you have a look at the diamonds, so the single diamond is a light tank, so and then you've got the diamonds with two squares and that's a medium tank so basically as you can imagine a medium tank is like a step up <laughs> and we just get absolutely pwned there and wrecked um, but as I says I'm bad at this game <laughs> um, but yeah so medium tanks are like a step up um, so that'll be like the Sherman um, for example um, if anyone knows anything about World War 2, so like 
that would be stuff like the M4 Sherman or the T-34. So, they're good kind of all-round tanks, you know, you can go into battles with those. Um, they'll do a decent amount of damage, they've got a decent amount of health, a decent amount of armour. Um, and, you know, they're your kind of all-purpose tanks, if you know what I mean. Then, the ones, you know, where you've got the diamond with three squares, um, that's a heavy tank. Um, so that's like the Tiger. Um, those are very armour focused and they've usually got pretty powerful weaponry but they're slow. Um, so that's the kind of trade off you get with that. And they're, they're like the toughest enemies in the game, like they've got the most health um, and you know they're going to be the hardest to take down but as I says like, they are slow. So now we're in this next game, we're also in Himmelsdorf. This is the Valentine AT, which is a British tank destroyer. So tank destroyers in the game are the triangles. And the best way I can describe tank destroyers is they're basically like the snipers of the game. You know, so like with tank destroyers, a lot of them their gun is fixed to the front so to actually aim the gun you need to turn the whole tank it's not they're not in like a turret there's a couple of them that are but for most of them you need to turn the tank um, to face the enemy and they also have relatively weak armor um, so you don't want to be getting into a direct confrontation with these tanks you know like you really want to hang back, shoot things from afar, you know, stay in a kind of relatively like hidden position if you know what I mean. But the advantage you get with a tank destroyer is, as I says, they're like the snipers of the game, so they've got like the most powerful guns in the game. So the trade-off is obviously they've got weak health, weak armour, but you've got bigger guns so there's almost like a kind of it's almost like a kind of rock paper scissors thing you've got going on like so like you've got your light tanks and then your medium tanks can are great at taking out light tanks and then your heavy tanks are great at taking out medium tanks and then your tank destroyers are great at taking out heavy tanks because they've got the most powerful guns although this one I'm using just now you know, it's a low tier one, so the gun isn't amazing on it at all, you know, like, it does some damage to the kind of lower tier stuff that you've got here, but it's not, like, a, a, a great gun, if you know what I mean. Um, but you've got a kind of rock, paper, scissors thing going on, because the tank destroyers have got the most powerful guns, they can really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the heavy tanks, if you know what I mean, um, unless you're out in the open where the heavy tank would just wreck the thing um, you really want to be like in cover and shooting from afar with these things um, now the final thing you've got is the artilleries um, and as you can imagine you want to keep them back they've also got probably the weakest health and armour in the game um, and that's what I mean by like the kind of rock paper scissors thing because light tanks, if you can get up to the artillery with a light tank even a light tank will deal with it, do you know what I mean? Like, because the artilleries have got probably the weakest armour in the game in general Um, so yeah so basically yeah, so you've got like light tanks beat by medium tanks heavy tanks will beat medium tanks Tank destroyers will beat heavy tanks. Artillery can kind of be used against anything in its intended role, if you know what I mean. So obviously you're, you know, staying back for the battle and you're just lobbing shells at things. That'll work against pretty much anything. But then the light tanks, if they can get behind the artillery and even some of the tank destroyers. Um, the light tanks will generally be able to deal with those and, you know, if you're a good light tank player and 
you know, you're good at recon, you're good at spotting enemies, um, you're good at flanking the enemies and, you know, taking out that artillery, you can actually be very useful to your team, you know. So here we are, we're jumping into one of the Soviet tanks and we've got a different map this time, we've got mines. Um, so, like, I like Himmelsdorf because it's a, it's a difficult map for me because my instinct with a tank is always to just kind of rush in, you know, and, you know, like, I've got that kind of battlefield Call of Duty thing going where, you know, in a tank you're quite invulnerable, if you know what I mean. You know, you can afford to rush in and just kill things, do you know what I mean, but with this game it's absolutely not like that, you know, you really need to be hanging back, staying in cover, so the map Himmelsdorf is actually pretty good for me because it will allow me to kind of practice doing that if you know what I mean, but I also like maps like this, this is just a big open field map, you know, um, so I originally thought I was going to follow this light tank, but then I kind of peel off to, um, you know, in this direction, and like, um, basically I start getting involved with the battle and that's never a good idea in a light tank um, and I kind of knew it wasn't a good idea but you know I kind of just, <laughs> just done it anyway um, but yeah this is going to be one of those games that I'm going to require a lot more sort of practice at it if you know what I mean and I love playing games that I'm terrible at do you know what I mean and I love feeling like I can learn a new game if you know what I mean so I think I'm gonna really enjoy playing this um, so there's one of my teammates I believe just got blown up there and then this tank comes along here um, yeah so we're getting involved a bit more here um, but as I says like, it is gonna be one of those games like it's gonna take a bit of time for me to get kind of half decent at it if you know what I mean um, so but I, I'm, I'm gonna really enjoy it um, and I love World War 2 history and stuff like that as well so you know there is that aspect of it too um, I think we actually get a kill here um, yeah <laughs> so so we got one kill in the video you know <laughs> that's not not too bad you know it's not a total waste but um, yeah, I just thought I'd make this video just to kind of, you know, I've got plans for this game in my channel, um, and I want to make it a much more kind of regular thing. Um, this is the first time I've revisited this game in quite a while, um, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really enjoy it. Um, but I just thought I'd make this video just as a kind of quick introduction, um, kind of explain a little bit about the game. And as you can see, I get absolutely wrecked there. <laughs> um, we'll watch our team a little bit here. Um, and it looks like, you know, I wasn't alone and not being terribly great at this game. Because <laughs> um, my team got absolutely wrecked in this match. Um, but yeah, so, like, as I says, like, it's going to require a bit of work this game, you know. Um, I'm not going to be good at good at it overnight, um, but it is a game that I really enjoy playing. If you know what I mean, um, and once you work uh, once you work your way up to like the better tanks, it does become a lot more kind of interesting. You know, a lot of the stuff I'm doing the now it's just like low tier stuff, and it's not the most interesting. But I thought I'd make this video just to obviously you know give you guys a kind of introduction to the game. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you liked it leave a like, if you hated it leave a dislike, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you'd like to see more World of Tanks content, or Call of Duty content, or my Let's Plays, then please do subscribe. Bye folks!